only on the Science Channel. Next, the 13 second x-ray which could mean the difference between life and death in an emergency room. On September 11, 2001, when a hijacked plane slammed into the Pentagon, the worst casualties of the terrorist attack were sent here to the Washington Hospital Center. The trauma unit coped well, but it was stretched to the limit. Here in the trauma room, time is very precious. Doctors talk about the golden hour, that critical 60 minutes following serious injury. Get diagnosis and management on track during this time and you dramatically increase your odds of survival. With a massive emergency and multiple victims, things get complicated. Each patient usually needs to be x-rayed to assess the extent of their wounds and to discover any possible internal injuries. Radiology boss, Dr. James Jelenic, knows how important these x-rays are. People die from massive internal bleeding from a pelvic fracture. And yet if you don't know in the early aspect of the patient's care that in fact the pelvis is fractured, no matter how good you are, if that's not taken care of, that patient's not going to make it. The trouble is, x-rays can create a major bottleneck in emergency care. They might take up to 20 minutes to process, and each patient needs to have several done. Traditionally, x-rays only produce an image that's so big, so if you want to create a panorama of the whole body, you have to take multiple x-rays, yes, and that all takes plenty of time. Time and, and trauma are very much critically related. If you've got six patients, and the ordinary amount of time it takes to image one patient is 15, 20 minutes, I wouldn't want to be the sixth patient. You can just kind of stand at attention like a soldier there, just like you're doing, and hold that position, we'll get a pretty picture, okay? But that x-ray department log jam is a thing of the past at this hospital, thanks to a revolutionary new x-ray machine that is literally a lifesaver. It's a wonderful machine. It's an yeah. uh, incredible leap of technology compared to what we've ever had before. This breakthrough in emergency care is called the STAT scan. It can take a low radiation digital x-ray of the whole body in just seconds. And it comes from a surprising place. Interestingly enough, this technology had its origins over in the diamond mines in South Africa. Any workers who couldn't quite resist the temptation of a few sparkly souvenirs were quickly picked up by a fairly controversial total body x-ray scan. Diamonds could be very easily spotted, even if they'd been swallowed. The StatScan's ability for quick detection is desperately needed for the trauma unit's newest patient. 69-year-old May McLean rolled her pickup and may have internal injuries. Any resulting blood loss could be fatal. The stat scan gives an instant snapshot of May's injuries. Two sweeps of the scanner beam record May from head to toe. So a full body x-ray can be done in just seconds. It's a quantum leap in trauma care technology. This thin pencil beam uh, is used to scan the entire body to give us x-ray qualities that really are uh, not only spectacular, but we can actually scan the entire body in 13 seconds, wow, that which looks... compared to ordinary time would take 45 minutes. Only moments after her 13 second scan, a digital x-ray of May is available on a computer monitor. Here you're seeing the patient's humerus, which is the long bone of the upper arm. And clearly uh, there's a fracture there. May's main injury is a fractured arm, so she's been relatively lucky. Dr. Christian Corwin can zoom in on any part of her body. She wasn't wearing a seatbelt. And contrast can be altered to look at either bones or soft tissues like lungs. Uh, we can zoom in and examine her chest and see that there's no obvious collapse of the lungs by looking at the periphery of the lung fields here. Yeah. May's x-ray goes on the hospital's computer network, instantly available to every specialist and nurse looking after her. Very easy to zoom out uh, and then recenter the image and you can get a kind of a picture of the patient from head to toe. Wow, isn't that amazing? Two minutes in the scanner we've quickly identified uh, you know, the injuries that we need to deal with and ruled out some of the more potentially life-threatening injuries that we could quickly fix. 
This is only the fifth STAT scan installed in a US hospital. They cost about $600,000 and they're a lot safer for patients and staff. The narrow beam cuts radiation exposure by up to 75% compared to old x-rays. This is a very thin, probably no more than three or four pieces of paper thick uh, beam where the x-ray would come out mm -hmm. and it comes down to here which is our detector um, mm -hmm. and it's tightly narrowed so that there's no stray radiation going outside the area we want to cover. Old style x-rays are large creating spill areas and subjecting parts of the body to multiple x-ray exposures. The narrow beam of the stat scan lessens spill and means each part of the body is only subjected once to x-rays. Um, when you can get one patient done in a matter of seconds, that everyone's ability to take care of more patients is enhanced. Hi, May. You okay? My name's John. I'm the nurse manager here. Okay. Chris is taking good care of you. Thanks to the STAT scan, May has been cleared of serious injury in record time. Being able to know that there's really nothing seriously wrong that quick is nice so then we can start worrying on things like her family, mm -hmm. um, whether or not she's in pain, mm -hmm. get you something to eat or drink here. Mm -hmm. This groundbreaking technology is improving patient care and the Washington Hospital Center is better prepared for any future emergency. It's a tremendous sense to know that we can not only take care of these patients faster but, but do it better um, and feel like we're really practicing state-of-the-art medicine. So we're talking about saving time and potentially saving lives at as well. Better images, shorter time, and hopefully that results in saving more lives.